Now, to call this application as an IVR application, I will actually have to make a few more configurations here on our objects um, to configure some grammars for IVR, etc. So to do that, I will switch the view from the web view uh, over to the all view, essentially. So I want to now configure all the different channels at the same time. Um, the uh, view here will refresh. Um, and now if I open an object, um, I will see a couple more settings, more than I had seen before. And some of the sections have already uh, also been renamed um, to accommodate the other channels. So what, you, what we do see here is our um, initial request, uh, please provide your account number. Now this was tagged with channel web. I want to create um, another item here for the text channel. So I want to create a channel text and the message here would be please uh, send your eight digit account number. In the voice channel I want to announce something like please say or enter your eight digit account number. So I'm going to create a third item, tag that with channel voice, and enter the prompt. Please say or enter your eight-digit account number. Now what I might want to do in addition for the voice channel is play a greeting um, at the beginning. Uh, this is something that you don't necessarily have to do in the visual channels. I will do that as an, as an extra step in front of the uh, input object in a second. Let me just configure the grammar here, which I will require for the voice channel. So in voice, um, I will go ahead and we'll use the uh, digits grammar, which is the built-in grammar from my IVR platform. Uh, set type to built-in, and I will do the same for DTMF so that the caller can then also use touch tone input. Uh, in addition, I will create a grammar for the text channel. Uh, that will essentially be a so-called regular expression which um, I can use to further restrict the input. So in this case I want 0 to 9 8 times and that is my regular expression. Okay, the result handling, the variable here will stay the same account number in both the voice and the text channel. That's all I had to do here uh, for main menu. Now let me go ahead and um, actually uh, make sure that all the announcements here are correct. So menu item output, I want to use the same bounce information um, output for my voice and my text channel. So I will basically set channel to default so that it will be used regardless of the channel. So let me make that change on the two remaining items. Product info, the same thing. Menu item output, I want this to be used whatever the channel is. And I will create um, some auto numbering here so I get TTMF tones assigned. All right. Now I did want to uh, add a step for the greetings, so I will create an output object, um, greet caller. But I will make this, um, welcome to Smart Bank, I will make this dependent on the channel. So I will actually create a precondition for this to say that only process this if. Um, channel equals voice, so uh, that will be my argument here. In that case, uh, if at runtime this session is a web session or an interactive text session, this step would be skipped. Okay, now let me redeploy my application. Again, deploy demo. And now I'm ready to give this uh, a try under the phone number that I have configured.